Denver's Shared Streets program is ending this week. And the city is considering making it permanent, but right now some of those closed off streets will go back to what they looked like before the pandemic. So this morning we're taking a 360 look at those changes and your perspectives on the program. During the pandemic, Denver blocked off several streets temporarily to give walkers, runners, and bikers more space to be outside and socially distanced. But with school starting, that's changing. So what we're doing is we are removing the shared street signage along these stretches of roadway that were part of the program and asking people to go back to walking on the sidewalk. Some of the shared streets like Byron Place are being transitioned into neighborhood bikeways. Drivers will see new posts and other changes meant to slow down traffic. And we checked and five of the seven shared streets will become a neighborhood bikeway or get a protected bike lane in the next year or so. Two streets are going back to their pre pandemic uses as regular neighborhood streets. Denver will launch a planning effort to talk about a permanent shared streets plan. The process will start before the end of the year and will likely go into 2022. And we at least get to go out and talk to people about what they felt, what they saw, what they liked, what they didn't. Um, it was a step we didn't get to take the first time around. And so we're excited to be able to launch a planning effort where we can engage the community in it and then have guidelines in place going forward. And we know there are a lot of different viewpoints on the idea of shared streets. Peter agrees with removing them. He commented on Facebook. People use them during the pandemic. Now they don't use them at all. Julie says we did take advantage of the wide streets a lot for walks, so I wouldn't be too upset if they continued. I could go either way. Jackie wrote they were confusing. We don't have them in my neighborhood, so it confused me when I saw them for the first time. I still don't completely understand if I'm allowed to drive on the street, too. We want to hear from you. Are you okay with the shared streets program ending or would you like it to continue? You can email us at 360 at the Denver channel.com.